everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Lisa here, in case you forgot. So today I wanted to show you how I make these egg muffins for my husband um, for during the week. You're busy in the morning, you don't have time to have a home cooked meal, breakfast. Uh, you are also inundated with tons of eggs from your chickens, whatever the reason may be. Um, I like to make these for him. I make them on a Sunday, takes no time at all and then he has a good hearty homemade breakfast for the rest of the week so that's what i want to take you through and show you today uh all right so i have my muffin pan now i used to do this in uh regular muffin pans heck them eggs stick like crazy i would grease them i would whatever and they just they stuck they stuck they stuck so they always my, my little muffins um, our little egg cups, whatever you want to call them, would fall apart. So, I did purchase these off of Amazon. They're not as deep, they're not as big as a regular muffin pan, but hey, they work and the eggs pop out of it easy. Alright, so I did go ahead and grease it. First thing I want to do is I'm going to take some frozen hash browns. Sometimes I do make it fresh hash, hash browns if I don't have any of the frozen. Um, I take a bag of hash browns and I just divide them up and I food saver them and seal them up and stick them in the freezer because you don't need a whole lot. So first thing I do is I take these potatoes and I just kind of stick them in the bottom here. course you know if you have an abundance of potatoes in the house or you grow your own which we do we're just out at the at the moment uh you would uh just use those but for convenience you know frozen hash browns work fine uh i do set them out before i start to kind of let them thaw out a little bit but i have done it when they were frozen also so you know whatever floats your boat if you forget or whatever all right, so, and I'll show you how much I put in the bottom of each of these when I'm done. It doesn't take a whole lot. Just a little bit of a potato base here. And like I said, I, I, I did um, spray my little muffin pan here. with. Uh, I actually used, use on the, um, when I'm doing these breakfast little breakfast uh egg muffins i use the butter flavored uh spray so okay so i have my little potatoes in the bottom Let's see if i can get up here for you to see it real good just kind of a thin layer on the bottom there and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put these in the oven and pre-cook them for maybe five to ten minutes i kind of just kind of look in there and see when they're starting to brown up a little bit uh i do that for two reasons one it gets them a little crisp on the bottom and two it kind of pre-cooks them a little bit so they're not raw when you finish so i'm gonna pop these in the oven and when we come back i'll get them out and we'll continue from there And I did forget to tell you, it's on 350. So 350, hash brown base is in the bottom and we are gonna get prepared while that's doing for the rest of the ingredients. Uh, get them nice and ready so once those are done, we can start putting them together and get them back in the oven and uh, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the potatoes, uh, hash browns in the bottom of the little muffin pans are been in for about five minutes so they're going to be done pretty soon so i'm just going to go ahead and get everything else ready um i had already pre-cooked the sausage and onion now this is the part you can experiment with however you want to you can put whatever your heart desires into these um i've done bacon i've done bacon and sausage you can do just cheese and egg uh you know it's it's totally up to you your creativity whatever you want to put in them uh, this particular batch that I'm making for him, what I had around was some sage sausage and some onions. So that's what I'm going to use. Again, it takes no time to fry that up and get it prepared. Uh, this is just so simple. All right, so 
that's going to be my filling. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my eggs together. When I was making it in the regular size muffin um, pans, it took 12 eggs to make 12 of these muffins. Now, the silicone ones that I had bought are a lot smaller. I usually end up doing between eight and nine eggs. So I'm just gonna crack them into a bowl and uh, get them whisked in there. Now these are our fresh eggs from the garden, uh, from the garden, yeah, they're from the garden. They're from the chickens. Um, uh, like I said, we right now we are getting between four and five eggs a day. So, I mean, that's that's a lot of eggs. Uh, when my husband's working, you know, he doesn't have time in the morning to make himself an omelet or whatever. I'm not a big egg eater, never have been. Um, since we started raising our own, I have found that I eat them more often. But still, you're talking four to five eggs a day for two of us. Huh, that's quite a bit. So, this, um, this is a really good thing to do if you have an excess amount of eggs. Uh... You know, this is something that you can make, you know, for your family. Uh, if you have children, these are great in the morning instead of them gra grabbing like one of those frozen, uh, you know, sausage biscuits out of the freezer, uh, whatever. They can just grab a couple of these and uh, it's just, it's good for you. It's, 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 yeah, you know, and it's using up a bunch of eggs. So let's see. Seven in there right now. I'm going to go ahead and do eight. All right. Now, the reason why I'm throwing my shells onto this uh, piece of tin foil is that once we're done with them, find a towel. Once I'm um, once I'm done, I'll throw these. Take this tin foil and throw it on top of that uh, sheet pan that I have that the muffin pan is sitting on, and then I'll stick these in the oven at 350 for a good 10-15 minutes to get them dried out. And then we just grind them up in our little mini food processor. Let's see if you can see that. And uh, you have little eggshells. Uh, it's good for your chickens. Uh, they need that calcium so you don't have to um, go out and buy. Uh, what's it called? Oyster shells. That's it. That's what we use um, until we had an abundance of eggshells. And now we feed them their eggshells um, ground up. You can use it in your garden or, you know, whatever you want to. So, that's that's the reason why they're on here. If it's just like he's just making an omelet or something like that, then it goes into our compost. Uh, but when I have a, an abundance amount here, um, I already had some duck eggs on here because I had baked some blueberry uh, muffins earlier today. So, anyway, when I have abundance of eggshells, that's, that's what I do. We dry them out and... Uh, utilize the eggshells all right so right now i'm just going to get that all mixed the eggs all mixed together if you've never had farm fresh eggs let me just show you Let's see if i can get a good picture there without dumping them over there we go look how yellow those are i mean you just you can't beat farm fresh eggs at all. Alright, so got that mixed up. Throw some salt in here. A little pepper. And again, it's whatever you want. This is just a basic recipe for you. You can add, subtract, whatever it is you please. Alright, so some salt and pepper in there. We'll then whisk that up. All right. Get those uh, the pan out of the oven. Hopefully, my smoke alarm doesn't go off. It's situated in the worst spot in the kitchen. You know what they say: when the alarm goes off, dinner's done. Maybe it's not going to go off this time. We might be lucky. Nope. There it goes. Okay. 
sorry about that. Real life, I tell you. All right, so the hash browns have browned up a little bit and pre-cooked a little bit. And the next thing that I do, let me grab a different spoon here. All right, so you got the hash browns in the bottom. I like, my husband likes a lot of cheese, so first thing I do is I add a little bit of cheese there to the bottom. And I just use whatever I have out, like this is Mexican style right now. Whatever I have out in the refrigerator is, is what I use. He's not picky, I'm not picky. It's all good. All right, got some cheese in the bottom of that. Next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take our filling, which is in this case today is gonna be some sausage and onion. And I'm just gonna toss it in here each little cup, get some sausage and some onion. Now we are planning on getting some feeder pigs coming up this year, so that's exciting. So then at that point, the sausage or bacon or whatever we put in here will be actually from our farm also. just nice when you can uh, have a meal and just say it's all from your farm for those of you that you know can't farm or don't farm or don't want to farm store-bought stuff for these is perfectly fine I'm telling you it's still gonna be so much better than having any of that frozen quick breakfast things in the morning or stopping at fast food you know just ho homemade breakfast right here as you can see it's not taking me a long time I do it on a Sunday for his whole week you know well a dozen doesn't do his whole week but you know what I'm saying just take you know an, what an hour maybe out of your day on a Sunday to get these prepped up and good to go right all right so now I'm just gonna take my eggs and I'm gonna pour them in well actually Sometimes I mix the cheese in with the eggs, sometimes I don't. This time I didn't, so we're just gonna add a little bit more cheese on top of the sausage and onion here. Like I said, my husband's a big cheese eater. He loves his cheese, so I'm just gonna give him a little bit more cheese in there. I have seen where people mix everything in the bowl and then just scoop it out. Um, I like consistency to make sure that every cup is getting a good amount of stuff. Every muffin. So, I, I just like to do it like that. So Then I just take this little ladle and just pour it in there. These take between whoop, 20 and 25, 20 and 25 minutes on 350. Of course, these are a little bit smaller muffins, like I said. So these usually take about 20 minutes when I was making them in my big muffin pans. It took about 25 minutes. 350 and are we gonna make it you know using home fresh eggs eggs are never the same size they're not uniform size so that's why I was saying before when I'm making these sometimes it takes eight eggs sometimes it takes nine eggs just kind of depends on what my chickens laid this week you know what I mean and this time I did what eight I think and it's like perfect so all right let me show you what this is looking like I think this one can use a little bit more and that one can use a little bit less yeah there we go okay 
All right, let's show you what it looks like. And that's what they're looking like right there. And so I'm gonna pop these in the oven. I'm gonna set a timer for 20 minutes and uh, I'll bring you back so you can see what they look like when they're done. Alrighty, so our 20 minutes is up and I'm gonna pull them out so you can see what they look like. I did open it up when it had about five minutes left and threw some cheese on the top of it again. See if the alarm is going to go off. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me fix that real quick. Oh, goodness. Gotta love it. Okay. So they are done. Always check with, I had a toothpick here somewhere. I don't know what I did with it. Anyways, uh, normally you want to check it with a toothpick just like you do when you're baking muffins or anything else like that cake. But I've done it so many times that I'm pretty sure they're done. So that's what we have. That's what they look like right there when they're done. Oops. I'm going to set them on a cooling rack. First, I uh, put my little silicone onto the cooling rack. Maybe if I can get my fingers. There we go. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, man. Let's go. Let's go. We have some leak out of that one. Okay. Anyway. So, we're going to let them cool down a little bit. And then uh, pop them out. You can throw them into a gallon baggie and just throw them into your refrigerator. You can throw them into a container, however you want to do it. Uh, what I do for my husband is I bought these small bags. They're just little small bags like this. And he likes three in each bag. And that way in the morning when he's running out to work, he just grabs a bag and takes it with him. Um, or throws it in his lunchbox or whatever. So that's it. I mean, it's it's fairly easy. It's it's quick. Uh, utilizes eggs if you have excess. If you don't, I mean, again, it's just it's a quick, good meal. Um, let me see if I can get one of these out for you, just so you can see it out of the container here. Wow, that's hot. Let's see. Phew. There you go. Look at that. That is good eating, you guys. I mean, you, you know, it's so much better than all that processed stuff out there. Take a little bit of time on the weekend, get them ready for the week, and uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, we'll see y'all on the next one.